How do you do and welcome back to some Peglin <laughs> Or howdy I know uh, howdy's been a thing here recently Especially with my uh, story I had about it Not too long ago where uh, I didn't know if howdy was polite or not Or uh, not polite but proper Was it proper English? Which the un votes are in so many people said that it is good so therefore i am more comfortable on saying it <laughs> um, i still have this annoying cough yes but i feel better that's all that matters to me but do you guys ever have that like i don't know there's this time throughout the day that i believe everyone needs and that is like that one specific time where you can just sit there and think just i don't know you let your brain wander a little bit see where it goes what riveting questions you might have but <coughs> i have that from time to time actually most of the time my kind of like time to think is in like uh at the gym or driving but not like driving after work or something it's like a late night driving whenever I'm leaving somewhere or something like that that is when I like my brain starts like working I don't know why but that's whenever you get all those questions and the reason I'm saying this is because uh, I was driving home t tonight from my fiance's and um, I just started thinking about uh, first thing I thought about was the Truman Show have you ever watched the Truman Show you might have it's a movie with uh, with um, Jim Carrey as the main character and essentially in the movie he's <laughs> literally having his whole entire life broadcasted as a TV show so everyone around him his significant other his family's friends are all actors that are just there to keep the show going on and appease the audience and it's essentially the gimmick of it was videotaping a guy from birth to death it's the life the real life uh reality TV show but the reason I think that popped into my head is whenever I was a kid before I even ever watched that movie I kind of had that think that like sinking suspicion of what if everyone's just watching me like why am I who I am or like it's kind of like those surreal moments in life where <laughs> What if everyone around me is just watching me or I'm the main character in the sense, which is not true for one, but it's that thought that you get whenever you're a kid because you kind of have that moment where you're just trying to figure out what life is and why, I don't know, why we all are doing whatever we're doing. Look how good the Elector Pegnet is. Elector Magnet is. Sorry, I've made that mistake a few too many times in my career of Peglin. Calling it the wrong thing ever since the update. I don't think I want any of those. Um, uh, perfected reactant. Who's our final boss here? The mole. That'll help us take out the mole a little bit quicker. I guess I'll take it. <clears throat> But I started thinking about that movie in my drive and then I started thinking there's no way on earth I am capable of being a story like that because what a boring movie that would be <clears throat> for one it would be a pretty boring movie I live a pretty boring life but I then started thinking about this channel and just the general sense of the channel not necessarily anything 
too notably and then I started thinking about uh, other content creators like the successful ones that you see everywhere and people always talk about the differences between like a streamer and a youtuber and how uh, a streamer you're kind of always on and it's hard for a youtuber to be a streamer but it's relatively easy for a streamer to be a youtuber just because you're dealing with the live audience at all times and so <laughs> I started thinking about some of the streamers that I know some of the youtubers that I know not personally by any means but that I've like watched or have kept up with relatively kept up with there's a lot that I haven't kept up with but I started thinking about uh, think of a streamer let's say what's a big streamer shroud is a massive streamer and why is he so massive <laughs> he was a professional gamer and so it's entertaining to watch some of the crazy things that he can do on a first person shooter right that's what everyone likes to watch enjoy to see those crazy plays that he does and either valorant nowadays or but he's also playing a little bit of overwatch too just seeing some of those crazy flick shots but <laughs> as time progresses I, whenever he first started streaming i don't think he was that great of a streamer yes he was entertaining in the sense of what the product he was pr producing with the uh amazing shots and everything like that and so then i started thinking some more because shroud has been much more entertaining as a streamer itself pretty captive like entertaining in the sense of he talks to the chat a little bit more and he talks a little bit more than he used to i think whenever he first like really started streaming he didn't really talk much he focused on the game his gameplay because most of his identity at that time was based around uh that those shots and that's what he did that's what he enjoyed that's what he was kind of known for was making those amazing plays and so he kept up focused on that but now he doesn't necessarily need to maintain uh it's kind of more natural for him to maintain those kind of plays and that uh behavior and so he's kind of let loose a little bit he's not playing so uh competitively he's playing with uh a lot of newer or different kinds of players is one way to say it um not necessarily all very good players he kind of broadened his horizons with who he's playing with which is extremely uh good i think to kind of level it out because what he got placed in overwatch and he got placed one of the placements i guess he got placed silver or something which was crazy i thought was crazy i mean it wasn't much uh too crazy i should say just because overwatch i get overwatch 2 i guess is having some kind of uh, changes to their uh, ranking system so maybe he got ranked lower than what he should which he'll climb easily quick because he is good at video games but I just thought it was interesting that he kind of moved more into a streamer mentality versus like a content creator mentality and whenever I say content creator he's not focusing on those massive like trick shots or flicks or amazing gameplay as much yes it still produces just because he's naturally good i get it at the game or games in general and so <clears throat> long story short i started thinking about other uh streamers whenever it came to like warzone whenever warzone warzone was massive what was that streamer's name that really kind of popped off in competitions and tournaments and stuff oh huskers yes huskers is his name and so whenever i always saw him on like youtube or something someone claiming he's cheating or whatnot i don't know i i just remember his name was always thrown around as a like as allegations towards cheating so but i i don't know i don't think too many people are cheating i don't know though i'm just basing giving the benefit of the doubt but I started watching his streams at that time because I wanted to <clears throat> see like how he plays and see if I can take some notes. I mean, there's no way I would even be remotely relatively good at uh, one of those first person shooters. I would say I am 
terribly uh, average at almost everything I do. But I wanted to watch uh, Huskers. He always had a large fo like a viewership on stream. And so he's doing something right. And he was a <clears throat> person just like Shroud. Very good player. People watched him for his plays. And so I kind of wonder. I know I'm not keeping up with him though. So I'm not exactly sure where he's at right now. But I'm kind of curious on where he is at. In the sense of Warzone's kind of dying. That was his big game that got him really big. And I feel like he'll always still have a viewership to some level or some extent. But if he doesn't move into like that more entertainer aspect in the sense of not focusing so much on being the one of the best, which yeah he can still be one of the best currently in most of the games he plays just because he's naturally good at uh at those first person shooters mouse and keyboard and stuff but you're not always going to be one of the best it's going your skills are going to diminish your uh reaction times are going to go down it's all going to happen so quick and i think that's where people talk about the volatility whenever you're a content creator because you're so accustomed to that uh, I'm the best at this. I'm <clears throat> what not. I don't know what to say. That mentality, though. And so, if you don't adjust with it, you're going to end up kind of, I don't want to say dying out or burning out, but kind of just burning out is probably the best way to say it, honestly. Burning out on games, burning out on your fan or in your um, community just that uh, because you at some point feel like you aren't as good as you were and you're not uh, performing the same as you were and if you didn't kind of transition to that entertainer aspect you're always going to try to be performing those good plays those cool moves and it is tiring I can I mean I haven't been doing this long, so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, please. Please take it with a grain of salt because I'm no professional at all. That was horrible timing, as you can tell, I'm not good. But I don't claim to be good. I don't think I'll ever be necessarily the best at something in the gaming world by any means. I would say I'm gonna be terrifically, uh, horrific, horrifically terrifically average at about everything i touch there's a few things that i'm going to be absolute garbage at which yes i'm aware that i'm not going to be good at a lot of things but at least i'm aware of it <clears throat> and i understand that's going to be the case and so i think it's just a lot of work to try to keep up with that uh, high quality content kind of aspect where you're always doing those what back whenever it was probably in 2010 I'm just throwing out a date I have no idea if that's the accurate date or not but whenever like quick scopes those montages maybe it's probably in 08 or something like that whenever montages really took off those quick scope no scopes why why ladder stall what i don't know what whatever it was i'm not i wasn't ever really that big into it i played the gamecube while everyone else was playing the xboxes and playstations and they're playing online i was busy playing smash brothers with my brother so i was kind of disconnected from it for the longest time i didn't know but it's you hear about like the machinimas where it's they're all like dying out and it's probably because people want more of the entertainer aspects nowadays versus the trick shots the uh massive gameplays or game uh i don't know how to explain it 
those trick shots essentially those montages i don't know they probably still are out there and they're still performing well but i think it's a very select few amount of individuals that are actually building their content around that and it's those people like huskers that are playing warzone and you have to get like 30 some odd kills in a game in order to make a youtube video because no one else is uh accustomed to or none of your viewerships are there for necessarily your personal uh <clears throat> content they're more for that like visual gameplay trick shots that's what they're there for and I think that's kind of that fallacy that lives that kills a lot of things and that transition from trick shot to uh from trick shot channels to content creation channels or entertainment ch channels in the sense of it's you not your abilities in the channel is got to be such a gradual move because that dramatic one changes everything same with uh ones that never change it's all kind of in that negative connotation and i think shroud's done a phenomenal job with it where yes he still pops off a little bit but his youtube channel is not based around those flicks those gameplays like that anymore I don't know if it ever really was, but I know he doesn't focus too much on YouTube. He was a streamer, he is a streamer, and YouTube's kind of like that second hand thing. Or that uh, extra income per month. But his content's not based around his amazing shots anymore. It's based around just general content. He's playing Overwatch, he's doing his placements. In his placements, he got silver at one point, and it was in one of his videos, I do believe. And he doesn't care about it. But if you see, like, a, uh, who's a big Overwatch YouTuber? I don't know a big Overwatch YouTuber anymore. I've been so disconnected with YouTube. But I'm sure there is a massive view, uh, Overwatch YouTuber that focuses on Kinzo. The real Kinzo was one that I watched whenever I was really big into uh, Overwatch. <clears throat> because he was good with Hanzo and he was good with Widow. Two characters that are very fun to watch in the sense that you can get those uh, tricky shots in with them. And so I watched him because I enjoyed watching those kind of tricky shots. And so, imagine if someone like that, who's based their whole content around those trick shots, about being good at the game, just being generally good at the game, they post a video and they do their placements and they get placed in silver, like Shroud did. Imagine how much that would hurt their uh, image. Not necessarily image, I don't want to say image, that's a poor, 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 poor word. But how much it would like <clears throat> affect that channel, not necessarily reputation either, but it would still like the, what is it called, the identity of the channel, I guess? Because you're associating this channel with extremely good gameplay, which there's still going to be extremely good gameplay, but it's not, they're no longer in that top 500 or, I don't know, top 1% of players anymore. And you're watching just a guy in an average league playing average people. It kind of gets that disconnect from it. And so there's that added stress to where when you're playing a game, you're focused so heavily on trying to get those big plays, make those big moves so that <clears throat> are we gonna beat this or not i'm kind of afraid we won't beat this but you're so focused on trying to get the content instead of actually playing the game and enjoying the game and that's kind of one thing that <clears throat> that was very unfortunate the way that worked but that's one thing that i noticed and you guys told me about it early on because there was a few times where I didn't post a video. I had probably good conversations in the video, but I did not play the greatest in the video one bit. 
and so I didn't upload it because I didn't think it was good gameplay content it might have been good audio content good just general content that fits the <coughs> channel uh, objective or channel views like there I just lost but I'm just gonna hit restart I don't claim to be good by any means but I am going to continue on because I want to finish I guess this rambling as they say but <clears throat> it's I hope you're understanding what I mean it's there's a lot of stress that comes whenever you're trying to be a performance channel versus just an entertainment channel and there's a few channels that have made that transition very well and some that have yet to make the transition or maybe they have I don't know I haven't kept up with them I sure hope they do because I think that's kind of where the f where the longevity of YouTube comes from is whenever you do uh, finally go into that like entertainment aspect of yourself your personality being just who you are on the channel so that you're not always having to make or have that bar set so high for you at all times and i think that's kind of where a fallacy comes within uh youtube i personally think granted these are all just opinions I don't know if they're true, false, they're probably incorrect in some level, but it's just <clears throat> my observations for the little amount of time that I've actually done this. So it's probably going to change, but I just want to be as like, I don't know, I want to be, I want to share my thought process, especially through this. Maybe someone out there <clears throat> has wanted to start a channel and just hasn't just because uh, similar to like I ha was where it's not the right time yet I'll start it later I'll start it later I'll start it later and never starts and always thinks about it and then eventually you're kind of sitting there and like why did I never just do it and so I just want to share my thought process along the way what goes through my mind as I'm making content as I'm trying to find ways to grow the channel trying to be better for myself better for you all and just better for our community and that's kind of one of those thoughts is what point do you make that transition maybe you never have to make that transition I don't know I guess it just depends on how long and what your channel is based around because skills unfortunately as you grow older your reaction times go down your uh, <clears throat> a lot of things decrease as time passes on and so you can't really hold on to that forever you kind of have to be yourself make sure people like you for who you are not for what you can do it's like a professional baseball player or a boxer nah well depends on guess how good of a boxer you are so that doesn't necessarily fit which <laughs> let's think of a professional baseball player now uh, Mickey Mantle, very good baseball player for the time, but as soon as baseball's over, they just have the memory of baseball. Once their skills are done, they're retired, they can't compete anymore, they're done. Football, let's think of a running back. Imagine a running back in football. They're at the height of their career for like two years, three years. And the average probably career of a YouTube channel is probably not too different than that of a running back because you gotta be relative, I guess, unless you have that like a good following, you have that good personality with it and you can continue on. But there is a due date whenever you become less I guess <clears throat> what relative I guess or I don't know 
I hope that makes sense, what I just said. But let's think of that. So once a running back is two, three years of career is played out, they have to survive on whatever money they earned playing that sport or that role or that whatever it was. Because going into the normal world or the out the world outside of their profession, outside of the sports industry, is kind of hard. It's not necessarily as easy. A lot of them go into sales because of their personalities, for one, just because they have kind of that uh, <clears throat> confidence that a just general people are attracted to them so they succeed a little bit better in a sales role because they're personable they most some people might recognize them and would love the opportunity to just work with or work with them talk to them and so sales is a big thing for them i just don't know necessarily youtube going into sales afterwards i've done sales i'm not a sales kind of person memoir <laughs> <clears throat> Memorb's interesting, especially with the echo chamber, but I think I'm gonna skip it. I do want to go over here though. Unfortunate, we're not gonna go that way. <sighs> but it's that volatility, I guess, is what I was referring towards. What do you do? I did kind of get off track high key whenever it came to my thought process with this one. I kind of dove in a little bit deeper, but this is kind of a good example to share with you like what I think about these things. This is what I kind of think about whenever I'm in the car late at night or whenever I'm at the gym. Gym is a very big time whenever I think and I want to get, I keep I used to have like a little notebook that I would always have with me where whenever I start thinking, I would just jot it down and then I'd reread it in the mornings or something or reread it whenever I have some free time just to because that's whenever your brain's kind of just free to do whatever you have not too much control. You're just thinking out loud. Maybe you'll have a good idea. Maybe you'll have some bad ideas, but doesn't hurt to just jot it down which I've done a poor job trying to keep up with that I definitely do not write anything down anymore I'm just sitting here trying to remember it like I think of a topic to discuss in a YouTube channel or like in a YouTube video because most of the time I'm just sitting here chatting whatever's on my mind and so I think of something that I think I could really expand on. I would like to get other people's opinions on it, but I forget. Never wrote it down and don't circle back around to it ever again. And that is where good ideas die is whenever you don't put it to paper. Uh, maybe the sphere will be enough to take it out if we hit the crit here We might be able to take them both out. Yeah, we'll take them both out Perfect upgrade the sphere, please We'll take I think we want to go left Yeah, yes, yes, yes Now to kind of expand back on my uh, skill to entertainment <coughs> A YouTuber and streamer that's done a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. Which they're still, per, they're like naturally good at games, obviously, which they play them enough to be able to be good at it. But that would be like Dr. Disrespect. I'm sure you at least have heard of him. I've heard of him, never really watched one of his streams. I have watched a few like clips of it on YouTube and stuff and he puts on a big production when it comes to YouTube and I think that keeps him relative because he's a older guy for one 
not saying that he's old by any means, but he is older than most others in the uh, industry, I should say. But he has a persona, an entertainer aspect to it, and that's what keeps him really going. Yes, he still pulls off those big plays. He still can really uh, play really, really well. But he is an entertainer at the far most point. The just good gameplay is just like the icing on the cake a little bit is the best way to say it. And that's, I think, why he's been able to survive and with controversies and I don't know, bad press, they all say good press. All press is good press, right? And I think that actually helped him tremendously whenever he got uh, banned off of Twitch. I think that skyrocketed him so much more. He got a nice vacation out of it. Yes, there is a lot of uh, kind of up in the air. Will his uh, contract stay? Will they go? That probably added <laughs> some stress to it. But what was it? His first stream on YouTube, which he doesn't even have a exclusivity contract yet, which I don't I don't know. That's I have my own opinions on what all is going there. And I my opinion now, it's just my opinion. I don't think YouTube has any reason to give him an exclusive contract because he's streaming there anyway. He's streaming here anyway. He's bringing in so many viewers. He's bringing in so much money. And they don't have to pay anything extra for him. Like whenever they brought Ludwig in, they brought Dr. Lupo in. They paid a lot of money for them. They didn't have to pay anything for Dr. Disrespect. And they're still getting all of his viewerships. They're getting everything. Now... Dr. Disrespect did his first, uh, like, dual stream on Facebook or something. I don't know how that went. That was a oh, quite a while ago, probably a month and a half ago or so ago. So, I don't know. It could have went very well, or maybe it didn't go that well. I don't know. But I would be curious <laughs> to see how that went. Because if it went really well, then it would open up the chances of getting those exclusivity contracts because then he'll be opened up to possibly going to Facebook and if he goes to Facebook Facebook would get all of their all of his uh, viewership and I guarantee you his viewership will go because he has such a good character with it such a good entertainer aspect he's <laughs> just enjoyable to watch in the general sense in terms of everything and so I think wherever he would go viewers would follow so if it went well on another channel which of course he can't go back to Twitch for anything because of I don't know whatever happened there I don't know but if it opens up the realm to uh Facebook probably worth uh, YouTube maybe opening up the idea of signing him with an exclusivity because of how much money he would be bringing in or, or he's already been bringing in but that's kind of the power that I see whenever it comes to entertainer now I will never claim to be anything like a Dr. Disrespect. He is a very clever man. I don't find myself as clever. Do I ask questions a lot? Yes. But are they ever the right questions? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're not often great questions, but they are questions nonetheless. And uh, you guys do a very good job in answering those questions or at least helping me understand. And I think that's why I kind of wanted to start YouTube is because I would always have like these questions, these thoughts, these uh, things that I just don't quite understand. And now I kind of have 
some people that I can bounce these ideas off of and talk to, talk about it and learn from your experiences, share my experiences. Maybe you'll learn something from it. I don't know. I'm not going to claim you will, but I will claim that you might enjoy some of it and you, you won't enjoy others. There's no way I can be 100% every single time on hitting good videos, good content, good quality, good, uh, <laughs> I don't know, however far I wanted to go down that rabbit hole, I guess, but there's going to be a hit and miss. And looking at our channel right now, there is a little bit of miss going on. And just figuring that out is the fun part. I genuinely enjoy sitting here trying to figure out how to grow. Now, would it be so much easier if uh, I had like five viral videos that just took off and I got a big viewership from them and I just escalated from there? Yeah, of course it would. Of course. But that's not likely. That's not probably going to happen. I don't play the right games for that stuff to happen. I play games where I can kind of use my brain when I need to use my brain and I can also shut off my brain. Now you guys might get upset because I make a dumb mistake, but I can't control when my brain shuts off. I don't know how you guys are able to do it, but when my brain shuts off, it's, it just shuts off and then it'll reboot and kick back on and do whatever I guess it wanted to do again. But I think that's the key to survival. I think it's the easiest. Now, okay, easiest, no. I don't think it's the easiest way to survive on YouTube, but I think it's the most efficient way to survive on YouTube. Now, granted, I can't preface this enough. I am by no means a good YouTuber. Especially at this time, I am no means a good YouTuber. Could I be enjoyable time, at times? Yes, at times I can be enjoyable, but there is a lot of things I still need to learn, I still need to get better with, and all I can ask is for you to help me understand where... That was a very unfortunate fall. Uh, where I can grow and where we can get better just as a community as a channel and I'll continue to like I don't know I can't necessarily not turn my brain off I'll continue to kind of think of these things and bring them up to you come kind of my theories with YouTube just because I sometimes can be a theory crafter sometimes I'm not that good at theory crafting but I still do it so that's kind of my working theory with the success of YouTube and how I think Dr. Disrespect and why Dr. Disrespect is not getting a contract an exclusivity contract now he might be in the works with one right now I don't know but if I was YouTube why there's no reason that you need to give him an exclusivity contract because YouTube Twitch won't take him back uh, Facebook is a streaming service yes but apparently everyone no one really takes it as serious as Twitch and uh, YouTube is taken so that was my thoughts on that my thoughts on survivability in the content creation space please tell me what your thoughts are on it because I really want to know I could be way off you guys probably know more about it than I do all I do is sit here I play games that I enjoy and I talk about whatever comes to my head and this was the thought one of the thoughts that I had driving home today was <clears throat> how to survive and how to continue growth yeah our channel right now kind of in a lull 
ever since I got back from the cruise, it feels like I've just been in a lull. The channel's growth has been kind of very slow here recently too, which every time I get a subscriber, just one, every time I get a like, every time I get a comment, every time I get a single view, just one view, it makes me so happy because I didn't think I w w would be anywhere near where we're at right now it's just baffling to me and it's still i i mean i don't know how I'll, more i can stress it but i still pinch myself i pinch myself so hard i wake up in the morning i have a new comment i f have fallen i admit fallen quite behind on comments but i'm working very hard to get them back uh, <laughs> get caught up and uh, respond to them all just because i know a lot of you have made good comments i've read them all i just haven't responded to them because of uh well ultimately i was a little lazy whenever it came to it i've been tired been exhausted but we are working our way through it so bear with me a little bit but it's just yeah we don't get as much views as we did before uh the cruise but it's because we're in that lull where we gotta find our space. Where's our space? Our space has been Peglin. That's why I make priority, primarily uh, Peglin videos. But the issue is Peglin is a small indie game. It's not gonna live forever. Unfortunately, there is gonna be continued content coming out by the sounds of it and by the looks of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep playing Peglin. I will continue my Peglin grind to be the most average Peglin player. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. A solid average. That's all I desire. That's all I seek. It's all I ask of thee. Take him out. Okay. We didn't take him out. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to throw you out there. Uh, I didn't need to throw you out there. I don't <laughs> I'm not a big not a big uh, fan of this map as you can tell I'm not very good at this map um, 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 um. 40 is enough will I do 118 here probably not no thank you for taking all that damage from me Nice bomb hit. Perfect. That's all I needed. Perfect. Oh, we got through it. Oh. Sorry. The intensity of that round just then ruined my train of thought. Because my train of thought is like a... Uh, what is it? It's like... um. What is it called? Well, you, I guess you can call it an hourglass. Whenever you flip an hourglass over, the sand dribbles down into the other half of the hourglass. But, <laughs> all my thoughts and my brain power is represented as the sand in this hourglass. And at the start of, as soon as I hit record, Boom, hourglass flips over. Sand starts dripping, drizzling down to the other half. And later in the game, there's a few things where it takes a little bit more sand out of the top than usual because I have to put my brain to work a little bit. I hear me out. We need to go left here. Perfect. We needed to go left because we needed to go left again. Take this, take that, go left. Easy peasy. And so just like there, <laughs> it took a little bit more uh, sand out of my hourglass. And so it's really draining a little bit. So like if I said, not if I said, like I said in a previous video, 
I am an introvert through and through. I am an introvert. No way you can tell me otherwise. And I wake up in the morning with X amount of tickets. Now I can spend these tickets on uh, personal interactions. Every time I talk with someone, it costs me one ticket, but I only have X amount of tickets throughout the day. And so I have to kind of use them a little wisely and most days than others. By the end of the day, I get home with zero tickets. And so it's kind of harder to think of what to talk about in some videos. So that's kind of a sign, one of those days where I kind of might have <laughs> talked too much, used a little too much brain power. My sand for the day has kind of uh, ran a little dry, I guess you can say. But <laughs> doesn't mean I'm not going to record because I genuinely enjoy what we do here. I enjoy playing the games. I enjoy talking. Bound, am I, if I'm sitting here long enough, rambling on long enough, I'm going to say something or something's going to come to my little pea brain that's going to pique my interest and quite possibly send me down a rant. These are very unfortunate throws that we're having here. I am aware. See how it's all kicking me out towards the middle? It's kind of annoying. Don't kick out towards the middle. Why is that? Oh, it's kinetic meteorite. That's what's causing it. We are losing a lot of health. Matt three Orbshka, please come. Uh, I'm gonna throw this. Ah, uh, yeah, kinetic meteorite in this one does not seem to bow well in our favor. Oh, I have grabby hand, don't I? Oh, yes, so if I target you, I'm going to hit both. This is perfect. And we're going to do plenty of damage to take you both out. I think. Yes, we're only going to take one hit from you. And you just need 500 damage. Take one more hit. And come on. Perfect. Oh, we survived with one hit. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I know it was two games and I kind of rambled on a little bit, but please, 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 in the comment section, let me know what your thoughts on. It's uh, kind of what keeps me uh, going is just the communications with all you. I know I am behind all my comments, but I am reading and I am getting through them. I just don't want to hit the end of them. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and commenting and consider subscribing if you wanted to. We are on the road to a thousand. At the thousand, there is, I have an idea for a new series to do, but I have to be at a thousand for it. And I don't know how well it will go, how well it will play off, but I am kind of excited for it. I'm still like in the works of how I want to do it because it is going to be very difficult. And I think whenever the time comes, I'll sh share with you that. But thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful morning, just a wonderful, wonderful time. Bye.